Hey everyone, welcome back. We were testing every single mask on Amazon. And today, we're looking at the American-made masks. This one is super America. This is like wearing a bald eagle on your face. I should sounds like it would be painful. This is a company called Liberty Masks. I'm very excited to test this. Before we start talking about their designs, let's put this in the machine. Now, this is a blue and white mask, very standard. I get the other side, I did. Let's let it rip. This is a PFE machine. If you wanna know about particulate filtration efficiency and why we're doing this test here, if you don't know, look at the link, but why are you here? I don't even know. All right, let's talk about this mask. I love the box, not a soft touch. I have not had a single soft touch box today from America. What's going on? Level it up, guys. All right, uh, USA Surgical Mask. So uh, you can go to libertymasksny.com is their website. Uh, I kind of like their website. Uh, their design is, is pretty nice. Da, da, da. Looks like they're made in Long Island, New York. Uh, now we actually bought these on Amazon and they're not making any claims on here. So we're just gonna take a look at the box here. Uh, no claims on the box. I love the design. Proudly made in the US. It opens up, has one of these nice little thingies here. Oh, that's cute. Your first line of defense. And these pop out. This is a basic blue mask, but man, I can just tell by holding this in my hand that it's like very precise, like whoever did these, like they did a great job on the welds and the nose wire is nice. Like a lot of pride went into making this, I can tell. The ear loops I don't love, they're very small. They're very small and I can tell that the, the welds, my guess is they're not gonna hold up great if I, yeah. <laughs> just, this type of ear loop, I actually use this type of ear loop on our mask in the beginning, and that's why we switched away from it. It's all we could get at the beginning uh, when the pandemic was happening, but like it doesn't hold very well. And if you look at some of our early, ooh, if you look at some of our early reviews, I mean, this is, these are probably gonna fall off on your face. Okay, great nose wear, great feel, great fit. Um, okay. Uh, I'm going to call this smell uh, old Legos stored in the basement. It's kind of a plastic, musty smell, um, uh, just a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna go 15 out of 25 on that. Not the best smell, but not the worst either. Yeah, see that? Yeah, I'm, your lips are not great. But the welds and the construction otherwise is a pretty good mask. All right, does any of that matter? All that subjective crap? Not if it doesn't protect you. And that's what you're here for. That's what you showed up for. Surely not for my bad jokes that I tell to my kids. Is that why you're here? That's weird. All right, let's check it out. PFE. Yes! 95.95. 95, 95. So good, they did it twice. Good job, guys. The minimum standards in the United States is 95%. Uh, that's an ASTM level one mask. Personally, I'm looking for ASTM two or three, but they didn't put those claims on the box. So they're just saying, hey, this is a box that's gonna protect you, or this is, this is a box of masks. They're not saying anything, they're making any claims, but this could probably hit uh, ASTM level one. So kudos to you guys for making a great mask. All right, thank you guys for watching. I hope this has been helpful. Um, if you wanna see me on the next video, I'm gonna hold myself ransom, unless you give me a like and a subscribe, and I will check because I have malware installed on your computer. All right. Catch you on the next test after you like and subscribe. Thank you very much.